Hello friends and welcome to another new happy learning video. Today we will learn all about the water cycle. Earth, which is the planet we live on, is known as the blue planet because as much as three quarters of the planet's surface is water. And water is so very important because without it there would be no life. Without it, these sweet little otters wouldn't exist. Or these playful bears. Nor this conceited bird. Or even us, the human beings. That is why we must look after it, conserve our water well, and most of all, we must maintain our rivers and oceans clean. Did you know water never stands still, but is in always constant movement? This water movement is what we call water cycle. Now, let's learn more about it. When the sun warms the water on the Earth's surface, it evaporates, converting itself into water vapor. And it begins its incredible journey, flying into the sky, up towards the atmosphere. This first stage of its journey is known as evaporation. When the water converts in vapor, it rises towards the atmosphere, then cools down, transforming itself into cloud. The second stage of its journey is called condensation. Once the water has condensated and turned into a cloud, it continues its amazing journey by being blown by the wind, traveling from one place to another. Clouds are actually tiny little drops of water suspended in the air. But when the clouds grow, they collect more and more water. These water drops then crash into each other and become bigger drops of water. Then, at some point, they will end up falling to the ground in the form of rain or even snow. This stage of the water cycle is called precipitation. The water which falls to the ground, which precipitates in the form of either rain or snow, may land in rivers or even on the ground to then seep through to subterranean currents of water. All this water must continue its long journey, covering vast amount of distances until it finally reaches the sea. When it arrives at the big blue sea, it will once again begin the process. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. That is why it's called the water cycle, because it forms a never-ending circle. Isn't the water just so incredible? Imagine how much fun it would be to be a drop of water. You could fly up, then travel around the world before you fall down and do it all over again. Well, that's it for now. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.